Hello, I'm James Brown. I'm working under uh, Dr. Ken Simmons. Uh, here at the research farm, we have uh, three raceway systems, each powered by three different aeration devices. We have a paddle wheel, um, a propeller motor, and a grid airlift motor. Um, and in the grid airlift system right now, we have about 2,200 uh, pounds of catfish that were stocked about a month ago. And um, today we're gonna we're gonna take inventory of what's in the what's in that system. And uh, we're estimating about 25 to 3,000 pounds uh, now since I've been in the system. We're doing inventory now, and we're we're trying to measure the uh, the carrying capacity, the maximum amount of fish that we can we can have in that system. Um, and they'll be in that system throughout the winter, um, into the in the spring, and we'll probably leave them there through the summer. Um, and then next season, next spring, around March or April, we'll stock the other two systems, the propeller-driven motor system and the paddle wheel system. So this is the paddle wheel system. Uh, this paddle wheel was uh, fabricated by the University of Kentucky. We're working with uh, the engineering department there, and they got this system for us. Um, it's powered by the 15, 15 horsepower motor, um, and right now it's able to push about anywhere from 2,000 to 2,500 gallons per minute. So this is a raceway system powered by the propeller motor. Uh, this one is a quarter horsepower motor, and we're able to push about uh, about 2,500 uh, gallons per minute as well for this one. So this is our raceway system that's powered by the, the grid airlift system. Uh, that that motor is a one horsepower motor. Um, since we have fish in this unit, we do have the, the aquametric system here, and it's measuring the oxygen that's that's coming into the system, but then the oxygen and temperature that's leaving the system. They bring it all the way, the frame all the way up. I don't know if you can, Doc. See, that's 18.5, 18.4 pounds. 